It is proper cold tonight, man. Proper cold, I'm telling you. The reason I'm out tonight, though, is I thought it would be a good opportunity to see my first vlog. Yeah, me and my mate Dan, we recently uh, won a Philip Bloom and Zakuto competition, and I yeah, thought we'd just chat about it, meet up, have a coffee. Should be cool. So in typical Dan fashion, he's actually texted me saying, oh, I'm in the shop. So, looks like we're going there then. Where is he? Hey, dark oh, man. There he is. What's going this on? This doesn't look like a coffee shop. I've come for a little I've been waiting, coffee snack. Dude, I've been waiting literally like half an hour for you. And it's freezing it out there. It's a sausage roll, you know what, let's just get out of here because I eat too many snacks anyway. Right, we're nearly here now. Indeed. So Dan actually suggested this place. What did you say it was? <laughs> well, it's a cafe called Metrics. So we've got about three of them in Southampton, but I like to call it the Instagram cafe just because everything in it is just the Instagram, Instagram cafe. <laughs> Coming from you, he doesn't use Instagram at yeah, all. Two pictures, <laughs> two followers. Uh, at least uh, everyone follow him. He's only got two followers. Yeah, monster. <sighs> I might just get like a Chinese tea or something. A Chinese tea or like in a more. cafe. <laughs> It actually it's looks right. really nice in here. It's like too nice in here, right? Southampton's it's like we're having like a proper proper bro date, mate. Right? It's, it's, it's just too nice in here. I'd rather you didn't say it like that. Dan, we've even got romantic candles. Romantic candles and fantastic reading material. Facial disobedience. Hey. We're all funny here. We got her in the end, didn't we, Dan? <laughs> yes. Bloody hell. It's not bad here, though, at all. Oh, oh, he has given me a spoon. I thought he didn't give me a spoon. I actually thought that I used the spoon that was in the sugar thing. I thought, <laughs> oh, Christ. Why does heads aren't in the game today? <laughs> So yeah, as I was mentioning earlier, me and Dan, we won a Philip Bloom and uh, Zakuto competition. Yes. Um, it was called Gratical Eye. It was a 60 second film about the eye. Oh, I must just say quickly as well, um, you know, we weren't the overall winners. We were, we were, we were first place, but there was also a second and third one up as well. Second third, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was fun. It was, you know, it was a lot fun. We had no budget though. We had no budget at all for it. So, um, yeah, it's like we had we had no time either because basically when we found the competition blog post which was on Philip Bloom's blog, we only had about two weeks left to do it. There was already submissions by that point. I mean, everyone else had about a month and a bit. I don't know. I think it was a month and a half. Yeah, we were like two weeks um, late into it. Point to this: we already had the idea for a film about well, it was a scene about an eye, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I wrote a scene that had this dream sequence where there was an eye in it, and it was supposed to be quite sort of philosophical. It's just quite it's completely coincidental that I messaged you, message you the next day saying, yo, there's this competition about the eye, so why don't we just do that? I put it on the back burner and just thought, okay, let's just move on to do this thing, see how it goes. And it was pretty good, like, the experience of it. Like, and, you know, I, I, I had an idea of maybe putting it in a way of what the eye represents. And cause if, I was gonna, if I was writing a scene that was fairly sort of philosophical and it was a trippy scene, Mm. So I thought, why don't we keep it in that mode rather than have it about the human eye? It's more about what the eye represents. We did a lot of test shoots. Well, I say a lot of test shoots, but more because well, we only had two weeks, so we did about a week of test shoots and then a week of actual yeah. proper shooting and um, so editing. And so obviously, I'm going to. Be uh, quite dumb right now because I'm not too familiar with cameras because I'm more on the writing side. So I mean, what was the camera that you used? Uh, this one here, 60D. It's a very old camera now. I think it came out in. I'm gonna get this wrong and everyone's like, no, it came out on lost date, but I'm pretty sure it was about 2010. And it's not the best in low light situations, which is something we actually needed. A <laughs> yeah. for, like, we just <laughs> we shot the entire thing in like night. Time. We're probably a really stupid idea on our half, like, oh, I know, let's use a camera that's not good in low light, in low light. That's a great idea, but nah. So we used the Phantom 4, that's not very good in low light either, so it 
it really, it really shines in uh, in, day, in daylight situations. But, 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 but as I say, we had no budget. We just used what we had at our disposal, like pretty much. And the wind was just swaying it about like mad, and we were like, oh no, I hope it. You think this thing's gonna? I hope the battery just just doesn't like <laughs> deplete and it just crashes and burns. Like, <laughs> suck. Actually, we had a few other shots as well that we didn't really use. I mean, uh, like I really like the one with the. Uh, I was talking about this level crossing mm. and the trains are going by. What's um, place place on the pine? So if you look at um, the first few shots, um, I mean, I could have just used a steady cam. I made it really smooth and polished, and, but I kind of wanted the handheld yeah. vibe because it makes it more aggressive. And like, you know, you're a biker, so it's supposed to be it's a bit rough around the edges. Like, I think it lends itself to that. I need more coffee. <laughs> I need more coffee. I need a coffee I before my coffee and one. a coffee after my coffee. I thought I was drinking one pretty quick actually. But I didn't realize nah, you downed it. Gone, yeah. <laughs> and I remember you, you were trying to pay with like. But you were trying to put like a little bit of money in it at the time. Well, the, the beauty about that bike was I could put 80 p in it, yeah. and that would get me like 15, 20 miles. I'm filming him. I wonder if he knows. That's <laughs> pretty much behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, keeping right. it real. Should I? Uh, how much am I putting in then? What's the? What's what's on our budget today? A dollar fifty. About 75 p. No, I'm gonna go put that in there then. Yeah. Quid fifty? I bet he's done Is he actually that. doing it? He's actually doing a quid fifty. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I didn't want to return though, it was quite nice. Having very it is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Because so Dan's got this new Polaroid camera. What's it called? Like Insta? It's, um, it's a Fujifilm All right. uh, Polaroid. It's a wide one. Though. It's pretty cool actually. Yeah, yeah, before we go test it out, see what it looks like. Yeah. It should be cool. Hopefully it's alright out in the dark here, so I guess we'll find out. Sort of left it last time, so uh, I'm pretty. Uh, well, we were going to get some food while we we're there, but I'm a bit peckish at the moment. What's going on? Did you do sausage rolls? Let's Let's sausage roll off. Where's damn rolls? Get some Easter eggs. Ooh, that you like. That's some Easter's mank, man. Look at this. <laughs> That is some grim ass you stuff. You can't walk into somebody's shop and just go, this is mank. Upset. He oh. just, just got kicked out of a. Uh, well, we just got kicked out of a shop because we're filming, so... We're filming. I can't film when eating a sausage roll if they won't let me buy it, so... Hey. Yes, yeah, it's more the fact I was looking forward to it, anyway. To the next shop. We're hunting for sausage rolls, basically. Right. And we thought this would be a good place to do that, so... What oh. do you reckon? Do they do good sausage rolls here? Uh, I would reckon you go further up the street. Yeah. But the best way is to go to St. Mary's Street. Isn't it? St. Mary's is the place. We were there as well. You didn't find any? Um... Well, we keep us out the shop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Should we have a look in there? <laughs> 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 hey? Hello, there you go. Oh, I don't pay for you, you know. Right, let's get the sausage roll in. This is the biggest sausage roll hunt in, in, in the world. We got, we got a new friend. Is he getting beer? He's getting beer. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> I lied to the missus. You, you, you <laughs> trouble no, we, won't, we, won't show, we won't show her. Promise. <laughs> do you not do sausage rolls? Do you do sausage rolls? sausage rolls? Do you do, what did you want? What, you need sausage, we need sausage rolls. There's no alternative. Cheers anyways. 